Hello and welcome my dear students and everyone watching this video. I am Ahsan Ashfaq. I basically belong to the field of computer science. I am a research scholar in the field of software engineering and data mining. Okay, so this is the first tutorial video. This is why basically I introduce myself. In my tutorials, we will be covering subjects like data structures, databases, computer programming, operating system, data communications, and many more core subjects of computer science. So, as I said, this is my first video tutorial. So, I thought we should start with something very interesting. So, I decided to discuss a very frequently asked question, which normally students and even professionals ask. That is, what is the difference between computer science and information technology? Are they the same thing? Or can we use these terms interchangeably? So, all these questions need to be addressed. So now we are going to discuss these terminologies. I am pretty sure that at the end of this tutorial you will be pretty much clear about the difference between these terminologies. As far as the medium of, medium of instructions is concerned, so I will be using English and plus I will be talking in Urdu as well. So that those students who cannot understand English well, they also have a good understanding of it and plus uh, those students uh, from India or from any other country who speak Hindi so they will also be able to understand it so main beech beech mein urdu mein bhi baat karunga and mostly we will talk in english so let's move towards the topic and one more thing in order to understand my tutorials or my lectures over here you will be required to have a notebook plus a bar point so that you can note down some the important points right so these are the contents of my today's lecture we basically we are going to differentiate between computer sciences and IT so first of all we will introduce IT uh, sorry first of all we will introduce computer science and uh, we'll see the basics of computer science then I'll tell you that what you can become if you are associated with computer science or you are a student of computer sciences then we will introduce information technology and then similarly just uh, as I said I will tell you what you can become if you are associated with information technology and then the differences the major difference between these two okay so let's move forward so let's talk about computer science first well those who are familiar with computer science they must know that there are two basic components of computer science there are software and hardware software are actually a set of programs that are designed to instruct the hardware to perform the processing always remember that the actual processing is performed by the computer hardware while software enables the hardware or instructs the hardware to perform the processing like if i give you an example in urdu jab ek गाड़ी हम चलाते हैं तो अगर ये क्वेश्चन पूछा जाए कि गाड़ी कौन चलाता है सो मोस्टली पीपल विल से गाड़ी ड्राइवर चलाता है बट दिस इज एक्चुअली नॉट द करेक्ट आंसर गाड़ी एक्चुअली ड्राइवर नहीं चलाता गाड़ी एक्चुअली इंजन चलाता है लेकिन इंजन को इंस्ट्रक्ट कौन करता है और इंजन को कंट्रोल कौन करता है दैट इज द ड्राइवर विच इज नॉर्मली अूमन बींग सो एक्चुअली दैट इज द स्टोरी विथ सॉफ्टवेयर एंड हार्डवेयर हार्डवेयर एक्चुअली परफॉर्म्स द प्रोसेसिंग it performs the actual processing while software actually controls the way the hardware functions or software takes or software enables the hardware to perform the functions now that was about software and hardware but if we go at the core of these things we'll come to know that it's all about informations softwares are actually designed to process information or to enable the hardware to process information at the core of computer science that's the information about which everything revolves and i'm going to tell you something very interesting i, I believe ke aap mein se zyada tar students ko ye baat nahi pata hogi aur wo baat kya hai ke in many european universities the department of computer science is actually referred to as the the department of informatics computer science ke department ko wahan par informatics kaha jata hai that is why that's the reason 
क्योंकि कंप्यूटर साइंस इज एक्चुअली ऑल अबाउट इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोसेसिंग एज एज आई हैव मेंशन इट हियर एज वेल दैट द गोल इज टू प्रोसेस इंफॉर्मेशन सॉफ्टवेयर्स आर एक्चुअली डेवलप्ड इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोसेस इंफॉर्मेशन एंड हार्डवेयर इनेबल सॉफ्टवेयर टू डू सो क्योंकि मैं पहले बता चुका हूँ कि एक्चुअल जो प्रोसेसिंग है वो हार्डवेयर परफॉर्म करता है वाइल सॉफ्टवेयर उसको कंट्रोल करता है और रन करता है सो इफ़ यू विल बी वर्किंग इन द एरिया ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंसिस योर मेन फोकस विल बी इन द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स हाउ टू डिवेलप ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हाउ टू परफॉर्म डिफरेंट फंक्शनैलिटीज यूजिंग द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग वेब डिवेलपमेंट एंड डिज़ाइन द डिज़ाइनिंग द एलगोरिथम्स टू टू सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम सॉफ्टवेयर आर्किटेक्चर एटसेट्रा सो इफ़ यू आर वर्किंग विद कंप्यूटर साइंस बेसिकली यू आर गोइंग टू डिवेलप सोल्यूशंस और एटलीस्ट प्रपोज अ सोल्यूशन टू द टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग दीज सब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस एंड प्रोग्रामिंग एटसेट्रा सो दैट वॉज अबाउट कंप्यूटर साइंस नाउ आई टेल यू कि इफ अगर आप कंप्यूटर साइंस के फील्ड के साथ एसोसिएटेड हैं वट कैन यू बी कम इफ़ यू आर अ कंप्यूटर साइंस पर्सन यू मे बी वेब डिज़ाइनर आप बन सकते हैं सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्रामर बन सकते हैं मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन डेवलपर बन सकते हैं डेटा बेस डिज़ाइनर बन सकते हैं डेटा बेस डिवेलपर आप बन सकते हैं एंड देन दीज फील्ड्स आर सब डिवाइडेड लाइक अगर सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्रामर की बात करें तो देर आर डिफरेंट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज यूजिंग विच अ सॉफ्टवेयर इज डिवेलप आपकी स्क्रीन पर आपको नज़र भी आ रहे हैं देर सी सी प्लस प्लस जावा एडवांस जावा एंड एंड कोर जावा एच टी एम एल जे टू मी डॉट नेट सी शॉप पी एच पी एट्सट्रा सो दैट वॉज अबाउट कंप्यूटर साइंस नाउ कमिंग टू वर्ड्स इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी That word is information technology. Now, as I told you earlier, that in computer science, you actually develop or propose solutions to the technical problems. Now, IT is all about the implementation of the artifacts of computer science. In computer science, you actually develop solution to a problem, and then this solution is actually implemented or used by information technology. basically it's a combination of business and computer science the solutions developed by computer scientists are actually implemented in the business and other day to day affairs technical solution of the business problems by implementing cs artifacts i give you a very simple and a very uh as an important example computer network is a very very important and hot area of computer sciences lots of work is being done in computer networks in order to develop efficient computer networks so that this information can be efficiently and in time and without errors and without uh, in in a robust way it can be transferred from one point to another and now you see that all the big businesses in the world jitne bhi bade businesses hain duniya mein they have offices around the world different countries may different cities may in ke offices hain now what they do they actually transfer billions and trillions of information every second from one point to another point how they actually transfer it they are actually using information technology infrastructure computer networks is actually an area of computer sciences all the work done ye jitna bhi kaam kiya gaya hai computer networks mein वो तमाम कंप्यूटर साइंस का आर्टिफैक्ट है कंप्यूटर साइंस वालों ने कंप्यूटर साइंटिस्ट्स ने बनाया है एंड दिस इज नाउ बीइंग यूज इन द बिजनेस एरिया सो दैट इज नाउ कॉल्ड एन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी व्हेन दिस द आर्टिफैक्ट्स और द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस आर यूज्ड इन बिजनेस एंड अदर एरियाज ऑफ लाइफ दैट इज कॉल्ड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी सो एज आई सेट कि जब कंप्यूटर साइंस के आर्टिफैक्ट्स आप इनफॉर आप बिजनेस में एंड डे टू डे अफेयर्स में यूज करते हैं दैट इज कार्ड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड आई गेव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कंप्यूटर नेटवर्कस सो बेसिकली इट्स ऑल अबाउट डिजायरिंग द बिजनेस स्ट्रेटजीज विद द डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ टेक्नोलॉजी इज यूज एवरीवेयर इंटरनेट देख लें हर ऑफिस हर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का बेसिक पार्ट है डेटा बेसिस देख लें नाउ आपके पास मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम है जैसे कि फॉर एग्जांपल कैंपस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम नाउ कैंपस व्हाट इज कैंपस कैंपस किसी भी यूनिवर्सिटी का एक कैंपस आप ले लें सो कैंपस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एक्चुअली प्रोवाइड दी सॉफ्टवेयर सॉल्यूशंस टू द डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स दैट एराइज इन द कैंपस 
how will you manage the academics how will you manage the examination how will you manage the account section in the campus how will you manage the administration in the campus so all these problems in tamam problems ka so software solution that is called a campus management system a software solution that actually provides the mm, solution to the problems or to the issues that occur into the in the management of campus so that is actually information technology so when the artifacts of computer science are used in our different areas of life that is actually called the information technology now i tell you if i agar aap it ke sath related hain so what you can become if you have a degree in it you can become an operations manager of an organization or a firm IT strategist now IT strategist is a person which actually find the solution of the problem using the artifacts of computer science a pro you can become a project manager you can become a systems integrator or you can become computer support specialist as i said earlier ke har business har hospital har college har university har bank har organization mein now computer and computer science artifacts are used so when computers are used somewhere definitely the technical support staff will always be there so you can become a computer support specialist okay now coming towards the differences so as i said earlier let's sum up the things in computer science we find out solutions to the technical problems and in information technology we implement these solutions to take advantage out of them in order to efficiently run our businesses and other affairs as i said earlier के कंप्यूटर साइंसिस में हम सोल प्रॉब्लम के सोल्यूशन ढूंढते हैं एंड इन इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी इज एक्चुअली द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ दो सोल्यूशन इन अवर डेली लाइफ सो दैट द आर्टिफेक्ट्स आर ऑफ द कंप्यूटर साइंस कैन बी कैन बी यूज एफिशेंटली टू प्रोवाइड अस द रिजल्ट्स और द एक्यूरेसी विच वी वॉन्ट इन अवर सोल्यूशन टू द डे टू डे प्रॉब्लम let's go back to it okay so now let's try to sum up the things so as i said earlier computer science in computer science we actually develop the software and hardware it's all about software and hardware and their development and their functionality and their interconnectivity while information technology means the use of hardware software services and supporting infrastructure to manage and deliver information using voice data and video now <clears throat> this uh, if someone ask you about the examples of information technology or Uh, some real life examples you can give examples of telephone and radio equipment and switches used for voice communication or uh, user pcs and software traditional computer applications uh, that include data storage and programs to input process and output the data or um, even software and support for office automation systems such as word processing spreadsheet as well as the computers to run them so all this actually comes under the information technology and don't forget that these are the artifacts of computer sciences uh, <coughs> and uh, also i give you example of computer network computer and network system used by you can say maybe teachers trainers students for educational purposes or by people related to business for their business purposes so all these things come actually under the information technology so i hope this will be clear and you will be now better able to understand the difference between computer science and information technology and not to forget that these words are often used interchangeably however for cs students or for it students they must be able to differentiate between computer science and information technology i hope my tutorial would help you in having a better understanding of the difference between these two well thank you very much for watching my video and if you have any questions you can ask you can post it i will try my best to answer them and for more tutorials please do not forget to like my channels my channel in the description below thank you very much take good care of yourself allah hafiz